Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of my Let's Play. In our last episode, we were working on our little dock over there. Can't really see it from here. But this episode, we can continue working on our dock. And I sort of covered the last, the 1.6 patch last episode, but I realised there's something crucial that I kind of overlooked. <laughs> And that is maps. They were added in the 1.6 update and are pretty sick. So first, we need some. We need to grow some reeds, sugarcane, so we have enough, so we can get enough paper for a map. Now how much sugarcane does it? Maybe it's three. I'm not sure. Hmm, so where can I plant this stuff? It doesn't need to be a full on farm because it grows quickly enough and I'm not too worried about it, but I still want a nice amount. I might just lay some spots out here where I can easily dig away the dirt without consequence. Let's start off here. Here's something I don't know. Can you use bone meal on reeds? Turns out you can't. <laughs> That's good to know, I guess. Also, another thing. Oh, did I cover it in the last episode? I can't remember if I did, but I'll do it anyway. It is you can right click on the grass, dirt grass, with bone meal. And so if we right click the grass, it will grow tall grass inside my home, which doesn't really fit, but you can get flowers and seeds this way. Not that we need seeds, but to have an, an unlimited amount of flowers is always good. Which is pretty cool. I don't need that stuff. Um, still got some sandstone. I can do some more work out here, though I'm not sure what yet. Um, I think to make it, I should make it one more wider on each side, and then that can be the little half-step barrier, as you would expect. And of course, I won't have enough sandstone for this, but. I can work on the other stuff later. Um, that's there. One there. Well, that's enough sandstone, but... blocks, but I won't have enough... probably for half steps. And actually, I know it won't be. Should get six more. Yep. I'll, I'll go harvest some more sand once I place these. Um. Okay, some more sand collecting. I'm thinking next I'll have to um, harvest some more wood I think and maybe add that, cover that whole thing up there in the wood structure. So it's an, oh, ugly. But I just remembered something that I was going to do the whole time. Which will be awesome fun. I want to go into the nether and start gathering lightstone. Lightstone can... Oops. Lightstone, I mean, oh. Is it? Yeah, it's glowstone. That's what we called it before it had an official name. Um, it used to be very, um, what's the word, laborious to gather, and it never gave you much per block. But now, it, it almost returns on itself the dust and the blocks that you mine. Almost. Which is much better, and it's actually practical as a resource to use now. And, it, and it's a reason to actually head into the nether, unless you want cooked bacon. And there. 
Should be enough sand for now. Oh, I still love that sand so much, and I'm probably going to take some damage. Oh, it's all good. Oh, I've got all the blocks as well. How good am I? Head back home. Got some more slabs now. Should be able to finish off this dock for the time being. I don't know if I'll keep this design, but it does the job for now. And I didn't make an extra gap around here, did I? Oh, yes, I did. This is the extra gap. There we go. It's also a bit wider now, too. I like it. So now, before we go and work on that thingamajig, I'm going to do my... Let's I'm going to work on making it a portal and heading to the nether. Whee! I've got a water bucket and go s do some obsidian mining. I think we had some lava at the end of this mine. And I was right, of course. Generate some obsidian and do a bit of mining. Good, it's just stone under there. Always check that, otherwise your precious obsidian would just fall into the lava. Yeah, okay. Fast forward sequence. Go. Yay! We have all the obsidian that we need to make our first nether portal. Yeah, I'll construct it first, then go sort out my inventory up top, and then we'll hit, take our first trip into the nether. Okay, now I don't want to get this wrong. Oh, pity it won't line up properly with my little thing magic here so that should do the trick if I get this wrong, I'm going to be annoyed. Oops. Missed one. There you go. And we'll go. <laughs> that looks kind of dodge, but oh well. Now we'll go sort out our inventory. Oh, forget about that. I've been playing a bit too much Terraria, where you can keep moving while using your inventory. Yeah. So I think one day or another, once I have enough iron, I'll be making a minecart ladder all the way up. Because at the moment it's very slow. Okay, so I won't bring my diamond tools in. I'll just store them in my main chest, which means I'll need to make some oops, some wooden tools. To keep some logs for that. Don't need my clock or my compass. Um, don't need arrows. Actually, I will bring my arrows. Half a stack, just in case. And don't need stone stuff. Flowers, coal. Keep my pork. Bread doesn't do any good besides exploding in my face. Keep the food. Water buckets are useless. Don't want to lose my iron. Don't need bones. Keep the dirt. Which I'm going to grab some more of that stuff. Because you never know how much you'll need a stack. Actually, I'll bring cobble instead. Three, just in case. Better more than less. I don't know. That statement didn't even make sense. And then some stones, tools to defend myself with and mine with. I need some more. 
Stickaroos. Need a pick. I'll also grab a shovel if I need any slow sand. Now re order all this after having it all nicely done. Um, bow torches. Oh, that's a mess. There we go. And that's all good. So I'll grab my flint and steel, which I thought I put in there. It'll be in here. There we go. Not much left, but enough to light up all at least twice. And here we go. In a second, that is. Episode 11, and we're already heading into the nether. That's an achievement. Hopefully we don't get killed upon entrance. Is that kind of suck? And remember, our mission is to gather as much glowstone as we can. Or glowstone dust, really. And then we'll be able to use it in decoration places around the house. Here we go. Where are the ghasts? Oh yeah, mushrooms. I can get them now, and then make a mushroom farm. Completely forgot about them. <laughs> it's convenient. Okay. I don't see any gas in the immediate area. That torch lagged a bit. Grab all but one of these mushrooms. So it can still have a chance to spread. There's plenty of pigmen around, and I'll get start gathering my first batches of glowstone. Can't see any ghasts. <laughs> it's the first time I've actually gathered glowstone with a pig. Feels kind of funny. Oops. So as I understand it, the glowstone has a chance of dropping... Oops, I think I dropped that. Four to... Two, two to four dusts per thing. I just killed myself. Come on, concentrate. There we go. Get it right back at ya. How long I would be able to last doing this? Just not long. Okay. I'm going. Should I deal with him or just keep working? It'll be a long time if I'm spending it. Got him. With a lag spike at the same time. Sweet. Now back to the glowstone. See, 17, that's already a nice amount of stuff. Because it only takes four to make it now. to four for the chance of dropping. That's interesting. And kind of annoying. Maybe I just couldn't see it because it was right above my head. Uh, idiot. And there he is. Please don't see me. Don't see me. Now he saw me. Not for long enough yet. This has been a challenge, just gathering this first little bit. That's how bad I am at this sort of stuff. Yeah, you got it. Wow, like Spike. Oh, fail. Oh, dangerous. I think I should probably make... Little cobble house around my portal. 
So I don't just get snagged as soon as I enter. And, um, stone, cobblestone is gust resistant, so it doesn't actually get blown up in the gust chute. Hey, hey, hey. Look, he's gone. Go in. Oh, save my butt there. Sorry guys. There you go, a little rough house from my nether portal. Oh, okay, that's had a symmetry. I hate that. Can't handle it, bro. It needs to be like that. Oh, that scared me just a bit. <laughs> I know this looks terrible on the outside, but deal with it. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not that mean. I just don't have time to make it look pretty yet. I'm gonna rate this wall. Ah, stone picks are so slow. I'm glad I still have enough flint and steel left to, for it not to break on the first try. Okay, there we go. I'm safe. Now I'll make myself a workbench. And a door. And there we have it. Mm, which means which? Make the door head out this way. There we go. Happy as Larry. And we got a few pieces of glowstone, and that is enough to satisfy me for now. That is a hard thing to do. But I guess it's worthwhile. Let's see how much we got. No, oh, 20 is not too bad. Would have rathered more, but not as bad as it used to be. That would have got me like two pieces or something. Um, okay, so I think I'll end the episode here. We've got ourselves a bit of glowstone, which we can use for decoration and practicalness. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Doo -doo -doo.